This thing that we're living is no fairy tale. Unicorns raped and fairies plucked from flight. I mean, no freedom save those who escape. Levitate to elevate while these demons masturbate. Stillborn cocoons see colors are denied and there are no butterflies. Death of a rainbow to bound the daydreamer's eyes see shifting cataracts of self. Give distorted views to inner wealth. Swollen till explosion be this hollow pride. Combustible self-righteousness that spits up hatred on our face and said swallow. Milk, it does a body good. So that let's drown in calcium instead of feeding you or I nutritious love. Lactating our faults to a creamy perfection while the masses say, like AIDS, isn't that just God's way of just getting rid of the gays anyway? I mean, they're breaking commandments. Like, do they really need all that life anyway? So much freedom when there are rainbows and death to these unicorns where they stillborn cocoons. There are colors denied and there are no butterflies. Death of a rainbow to bound in daydreamers eyes. I mean, shifting cataracts of shifting cataracts of self. Uh. Swollen to an explosion be this hollow pride. Combustible self-righteousness that spit so hatred on our face and said swallow. Ugh. Milk, it does a body good so that let's drown in calcium instead of feeding you or I nutritious love. Lactating our faults to a creamy perfection while the masses say, didn't Magic Johnson have that? Like, is that still a thing even? I think AIDS is like gone. There's a pill for that. God will find a new way to get rid of them now, won't he? While the masses say there is no freedom, there is no freedom while we can never escape out of these rainbows, just unicorns, just us, me, and you, just milk in this body and milk and milk and... It was January 2nd, 2012, when me and my lover alone in our rooms said that we had never been tested. So afraid of just repeating this cycle. So afraid of the label of the if and the what if. Our hands held closer than the fear gripping our bodies. We promised tomorrow. But tomorrow never really came. I mean, isn't this just what we want anyway? The cycle repeating itself. Repeating itself. So I went to the exhibit and I was really kind of blown away like most people by all the art and just the beauty and kind of like sadness and death kind of on the walls. But one of the things that kind of got me when I was looking around that we had actually just kind of seanced all of this death just for our viewing pleasure. And then I kind of noticed the black and white of it. Notice the ghosts in the air humming around every frame and panel. Notice there aren't any folks really that look like me. Couldn't understand why we weren't ardent on the walls. Do we not die beautiful enough for you? Or is it because it's hard to celebrate a thing that is always dying too slow to be called genocide and too often to be drawn attention to, like Marcus? Afraid of being alone like to every new lover, he used to joke, sharing is caring. Then kissed him the way that he was kissed, like a ribbon of red, his knee fraying his tongue. Then he spread his legs like watercolor crying. Tyrone hushed his molester's voice by injecting the lyrics of love into his vein. Then slipped beneath any lover, each new body haiku and sonnet. The beat of panting breath, like meth blooming desire into poetry from slamming each organ, each orgasm glycerin, TNT, SEX, HIV, PNP, I mean, perfect perfection and practice. Isn't art nothing more than practice? Maybe these aren't the stories I should be telling. They only show how ugly we are in our living, how common, how uninspired, nothing more, nothing worthy of murals, I guess or sculptures, I guess, 
Just the highest rate of new infections go in painted silence. Black bodies have always been sullied gravestones, I guess, always too ashamed to be noticed like Darius. Too afraid to admit he has AIDS, told his mother it's cancer, shaved his head and started speaking at schools. See, there is an art in denial, like Mike, who won't have sex with anyone, believes this is the casual cause of being gay. How ugly we must be in our statistics. How drool, how cliche, like Terrence. Another black boy who committed suicide said he wanted to be remembered beautiful, not like Donovan. Donovan, who died in a small room in hospice, faced a broken shadow, bone too frail to lift the sheets off his body, his lesions a braille reminder of how ugly this life can be, like Malik, who covered his ugliness like a suit of muscles, said he wanted people to remember him as an Adonis, not a shadow, then asked me to help him if, if things ever got too bad, and then they got too bad, and I couldn't. See, he couldn't afford the meds, like Jamie, who used to, t like Jamie, who's so used to turning tricks, hoping to magician her he into she, voila, and be beautiful. Jamie made us take pictures of her so we could remember how beautiful and healthy she would be. More than just a sum of her parts like something by Maplethorpe, a muddy sketch, a tortured piece of clay. I mean, who doesn't want to be remembered to be beautiful, made immortal by the fragmented torture that we hold in our skin, the stuff of marble and charcoal, before our lives are just names swept away in sand. Eric. Corey, David, there are so many names held mosaic on my tongue, coated in the design of my skin, like the fear in my future. I think of Darius, Manny, Tony, Tori, Alan, Barry, me. There's so many dead names, dying literally just to be noticed and hung up in here. I guess there is an art in going unnoticed too. Maybe this can be beautiful, maybe.